Heavy rainfall, though, across coastal Palm Beach County. Everything racing toward the east coast. It's going to be a tricky commute home for a lot of areas. And the Storm Team 5 weather alert today. Here are the threats. Lightning frequent in the storms that we've seen so far. There is a small tornado threat. Isolated tornadoes are possible. Winds, gusty winds. And I do expect the winds will start to pick up in some of these storms through the afternoon and evening. Hail has been reported just to the north around Orlando during the day. Nothing here, but that is also possible. And there is uh, the situation where we could see some uh, street flooding, localized flooding in some spots, especially with this line of storms that is moving pretty much now into the Turnpike, 95, and then eventually US-1. They are racing to the coast. So if you're not getting heavy rainfall in Palm Beach County at this point, you soon will. There's the heavy right along the Turnpike all the way from West Palm and Wellington down into Boca and moving now east into 95 and US-1. A little farther north into North County, uh, from Wellington all the way up into the gardens in Jupiter. More torrential downpours. A little bit of a break now across the Treasure Coast with just persistent showers. And that will lead us into a fairly quiet early evening. We are looking at uh, heavy rain tapering off uh, as we get into the early evening and then firing up again. So gusty winds, small hail possible, lightning and heavy rain, and isolated tornadoes. I've given you kind of a, a brief idea of this one-two punch, but James Whelan's here with me, and he's going to break down kind of hour by hour what's going to happen tonight and into early tomorrow. James. Yes, yeah, Steve, let's look at Vipercast and we'll go through it here and explain what's going on. This is what's over the area right now. As we go through time here, we do get a little bit of a break in the action from about 5, 6 o'clock through about 8 o'clock or so. And we may actually see the sun come back out just in time for a nice sunset. Then as we get later in the night around 8 o'clock, we'll start to see another line develop along the Treasure Coast. This is the actual front that will move on through. And around midnight, 1 o'clock or so, that's when it's going to head through Palm Beach County. But notice it does weaken as it pushes farther to the south, so stronger to the north. Then we will see that push off the coast, a lingering shower possible in the morning. After that, it's gone. We will see much drier weather filter on in after that. Here's the hour by hour forecast with the numbers on it. Temperatures will actually go up a little bit here once the sun comes back out for a couple of hours, maybe before the sunset, right before the sunset, and then it drops down after that once we get more showers and thunderstorms in there.